All right, hello everybody. It is our Black Paws back here with you. Uh, we're gonna do a little Minecraft today, uh, just cause I felt like doing something different and fun and everything. And oh my gosh, there's all sorts of stuff here. Uh, we'll just call it YouTube World. Um. Probably should have made this before I did everything, but I'm just flying, you know, by the seat of my tuchus here. As you all know, I do that a lot here. Uh, we're not going to use any resource packs or anything. We're just going to create and roll with it. You know, I do things on this channel not to, you know, not to get views, not to get, you know, anything that YouTube values. Uh, I just do it for fun. During online play, you may be exposed to chat messages or other types of user-generated content that has not been rated and may not be suitable for all ages. Yeah, I kind of get that because it's, you know, it's a game where they make you play it online, so... Yeah, that's a thing. Oh, I forgot. I usually play this with the controller. Oops, silly me. Uh, it's also fun to come back to games that you really haven't touched in a while. Just to see how they've changed. And, ooh, it's so pretty. You know, Minecraft's one of those games that I enjoyed for a long while. I mean, not gonna lie. I enjoyed the heck out of Minecraft when I first started playing it. Just because it was, you know, it was a creative game that had some role-playing adventure elements to it. And it was just a lot of fun. And... It still is fun, but I just don't play it as much anymore because it admittedly it got replaced in my life. And you just saw the cow zoom around there. Uh, and it got replaced by Seven Days to Die, which is like one of my favorite, you know, games, period, close quotes. You know, because I think. Do I, do I think Seven Days to Die is a better game than Minecraft? You know, each has their audience. You know, and Seven Days to Die, for me, uh, I'm... I enjoy Seven Days to Die more than I do Minecraft. And... I know that's kind of a, like, a scary thing to say. Aren't there two of these? Yeah. Oh, well. Okay, so I have a spot that has sugar cane, so I'm happy about that. Um, let's see here. Let's go ahead and let's convert all of our wood to planks. Make a crafting table. Make a few sticks. There we go. And you're going to see how bad I am at Minecraft, too. So this is going to be like extra humiliation for me because... This is going, this play, the times that I play Minecraft, they're going to make serious Minecraft players cringe. Because, again, you know, I'm doing this for fun. You know, I'm not doing it to build, like, a autonomous kilomajig or anything like that. I'm just, you know, I have fun with it. You know, I don't build, like, the grandiose structures that, you know, make people ooh and ah. Uh, I'm not functional. And this will give you an idea of, you know, why, probably why I don't play in Minecraft as much. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, seven... Oh, Barga. Also lets you see that... Again, that I can't aim properly, either. And those of you who have seen seven, my Seven Days to Die stuff, you know that's the case. Okay, perfect.
And, you know, the funny thing is, I'm not trying to be, like, you know, ultra uber Minecraft player, you know. For me, this is fun. You know, I'm, you know, I'm just having fun making a simple little, you know, dirt house. You know, for lack of a better description here. And part of the other reason that I enjoy Minecraft, or you know, play Minecraft, is, you know, exploration. It's, you have this whole huge world that you can go explore. Much like in Seven Days to Die, you have this whole huge world that you can go explore. And a lot of times I just will go off and explore, you know? And I admit that when it comes to the game, Minecraft particularly, once I get diamonds, the boredom kind of starts to set in. Because, for me, it's like, okay, I got diamond, now what? You know? And I'll do stuff like, I'll get the enchanting table, I'll do a little bit with redstone, but not a lot. You know? And, it's kind of like, well, I've reached a point in the game where I've done all I wanted to do, so now, now it's kind of what? You know? Have I ever been to the end? No. Have I found a stronghold? Sometimes, mostly by accident. Uh, there's been a few times where I've actually actively tried to find one. And... That's, you know... But, like, stuff like the wither... No. Haven't done that. Don't really have a desire to do it either. You know... It's just... I... You know, that's not fun for me. And when you have a sandbox game like this, you know, everybody has their own definition of fun. You know, and that's important for a game. Because, you know, no one plays the game the same way. You know, there's some people who, well, I'm going to recreate, you know, this great work of art in one five thousandth scale on, you know, in the game. And I'm like, and my thoughts are, well, hey, that's cool. Go for it. Do, would I do that? No. Because that's not fun for me. There we go. Okay, let's make a door. I need a door. I need a door. Okay. Got a door. Uh, a couple of chests. Make some wood tools. Boop. Just make my standard complement of wood tools. Go and plop my chests there. Let's see here. Drop you, drop you, drop you. Uh, I need to keep the door, at least short term. And I know that how I play this game is going to drive people crazy. Because... You know, there's going to be accusations of, oh, you're playing it wrong. No. On a sandbox game like this, everybody plays it differently. And I'm just making this video to share her life. You know, and to have fun. Because if you're not having fun doing something, then honestly, why do it? I think I'll go ahead and I'll start making my mine here because this is something that I always do as well is I make like a mine near my base so that way I've got you know close proximity to a mine you know, so that way I don't have to go like 5,000 leagues away over hill over dale to get my mine also, I've been able to find, like, some really cool stuff by doing things like this. I had one game where I went and did, like, this little dig down thing by my house. So, you know, I already got some answers. That's a pretty cool upgrade. 
Okay, well, let's get a furnace going. Uh, I'll put the furnace over here. Um, well, I should make a stone tool. Just gonna put, uh, throw that out there. Uh, we'll make a stone. We'll make a couple of stone picks. That way, I've got them. Okay, so. And that's another thing is I'm very finicky about how I have my inventory managed. Just like in Seven Days to Die, I'm a little finicky on that too. All right, we're gonna eventually need more wood, but that's a down the road thing. All right, now we're just gonna. Okay, it's freaking dark in here. I think we're gonna go ahead and get some wood now. Uh, I don't like to use the acacia because it's a little hard to maintain, don't you know? And since I have this lovely oak and birch forest over here, I figure why not take a look over here and we'll get what we need over here. Uh, did any saplings drop from that tree I did it cut through? Can I even... F oh boy. Hi, Mr. Zombies. Hello. There's number three. Okay. Uh, there's a chicken looking at me from the woods. That's scarier than the zombies. Uh, go ahead and get this one. I'm out at night. Oh my god. Scary thing. Well, it's because with Minecraft, I know I can handle a lot of the nighttime stuff. Seven days to die, you never know what you're going to get. So, I take it a little easier in seven days to die, meaning I'm a, more of a chicken in seven days to die. Minecraft, not so much. Minecraft, I kind of know what is out here. So I don't worry about being out at night as much in Minecraft. Because I know it's going to be zombies, it's going to be creepers, it's going to be endermen, and it's going to be skeletons. It's going to be all kinds of stuff that wants to just... You know, myrtleize me. But it's stuff that I know. You know, it's stuff that I'm familiar with. Okay, come on, guys. Well, that's Oh, did a jiggle. Oh, there's an Enderman. There's a witch. Okay. How did you get inside my house? How did you guys get inside my house? Whoa, okay, I got a... Oh, boy. Yeah, I don't want to mess with you. Actually, I do. Come on. There we go. I don't know how they got in my house. But they did. Okay. Well, let's start making some good things. That's a pretty radical change. I'm not used to stuff spawning in house. Yeah, my sword's about bought to farm, so I'm gonna go ahead and make a stone sword. Just so I have it for backup. Go ahead and make a few sticks.
split things up a little bit here. Not entirely, again, not entirely sure why the zombies spawned on, uh, spawned in the house. But they did, so. Just gotta deal with it, you know? It's, une it's unexpected house guests. Okay. So, do not look at the Enderman. Torch there. Torch there. Okay, yeah, that's where the andesite came from. Okay. And I kind of just, I just dig. You know, dig until I meet an abs. Not, you don't use the axe to break the rock. Just dig until you hit either an obstruction or you hit bedrock. And what do I mean by obstruction? I mean like stuff that causes that would cause you to take fall damage or lava or water. You know, that's what I call an obstruction. There we go. I love the diorite in this game. I love how some of the add-on packs change it different colors, like the Skyrim mashup pack has it this awesome purple. But I like building my home out of diorite, particularly the polished diorite. And the reason for that is so I can see it when I'm out, you know, when I'm coming back from wandering cuz I get lost a lot. You know, that's the honest truth. I get lost a lot in this game. That's another reason why I tend to have the mine right by the house, so that way I'm not getting lost. Or if I do get lost, it's only short term. Well, so far we haven't found any obstructions, which is good. That doit. You know, and I know that, you know, again, you know, please be advised. How I play is different than how other people play. So if you're going to come on here and be like, oh, you should do this, you should do this, you know, so that way you can get good. Well, I don't want to get good. I want to have fun. Let's put it back here because we got tons of gravel. I'm doing, I'm playing a game to have fun. This is how I have fun. How I have fun is not how you have fun. I don't regulate how you have fun. Please do not regulate how I have fun with the game. Thank you and good night. No, uh, it, part of it is just this is how I play the game. You know, I'm not looking to, you know, be the ultra competitive, ooh, you've got to get all the stuff type person. I, you know, like I said, once I get diamond, I start getting bored. So, uh, just hope that we don't get diamond this early. You know, because otherwise, you know, this is going to be a short series. Uh, you know. <laughs> and we don't want, we, well, maybe we do want, uh, maybe I do want this to just be a short series. You know. But, again, you know, I, I play games to have fun. So, digging in the dirt, exploration, you know, the occasional monster whomping, ooh, coal. Uh, that's fun for me. You know? And, you know, if you're one of those hardcore Minecraft people who, you know, you're building, like, you have like your 5,000 redstone hopper farm and things like that. Hey, that's cool. That's cool. Just, you know, understand that that's not how I play. How I play is, you know, just having fun. 
and this for me is fun. You know, you play around in Dodoit, you find good stuff, and then you know, three days later, you return from the sur you merge from the surface to your house, and you put away all the stuff. You know. I think it's partially the geologist, you know, in me. That I just want to go dig into dirt sometimes. Okay, so let's see here. I got some dirt here. There we go. Alright. Uh, you know what? I'm going to shunt out a little bit. different way, a little different than my straight path, because that's something else that I tend to do, is I tend to do, like, just the straight paths, you know, again, I'm not doing, like, elaborate stuff, I, you know, I can't put it any other way, other than that I'm just a, when it comes to Minecraft, I'm just a simple, oh, we found redstone, uh, I'm just a simple person, you know? I do what's... I, again, you know, I hate to keep harping, but I do what's fun. And what's fun is, you know, it's simple stuff, because it's easy to manage. It's easy to replace if a creeper blows up in it. You know, it's stuff like that, you know? It's not this grand elaborate thing. And I don't play on creative either. You know, I play survival. I and I think that also kind of tempers, you know, how I play, because I know that if I build some gr big grandiose thing, I'm gonna get upset when a creeper comes by and you know blows it to kingdom come. Because you think of all the time that you put into it all the energy and everything, and, you know, the little explosive muggle lumper just, you know, det self-detonates, and all of a sudden you've lost all of that stuff. Okay, I hear water, and we have found bedrock. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So this level is... The start may be the start of diamond. I don't know. And this is how I mine for diamond, is I go up to the level where it's supposed to start, and I just start going out. This usually results in me not getting back to the house for at least two game days, because I play until I have no more pickaxes, Ooh, there's gold, there's redstone. Cool. Okay, so I'm going to have to remember this for when I get uh, iron tools. Let's try the other way. Let's see what's there. Ooh, coal. Score more coal. Let's get all this coal, get all this yummy experience as well. This is, you know, for me, this is fun. You know, just digging around in the dirt, seeing what you can find. And then when we go to explore the overworld, it's, you know, let's see what we can find. So, th this is how I play. You know, it's not everybody's cup of tea, but it's how I play. And I have no idea what the, you know, the audio sounds mean, because I just heard, like, a rumbling off to my left in the game. Uh, I know that sound. That's lava. That's going to be interesting to look at when we eventually make our way there. Just about to pop my pickaxe. 
head back once that pickaxe pops. And get stuff working in the for in the furnace, forge, whatever. And then we'll wrap up. And yeah, this is how I this is how I start doing, you know, once there we go. See? So once I hit bedrock, I count back up, because I know they say you know, looking at one of the tooltips in there is looking for diamonds, start checking on coordinate such and such. So I count up from bedrock such and to like one below such and such. And then I start looking. And that's how I look. I do like systematic. On that level, you'll just see like gigantic honeycombs of tunnels. Because I go off every which direction just looking for diamonds and looking for stuff. Like, I found mine shafts because of that. I once found a stronghold doing that, which was pretty intriguing. And you see, uh, I've already missed the rain. Let's see. Anybody home? Nope, nobody's home. Cool. Alright, let's start getting this iron taken care of here. I'll just use the last of my charcoal for that. Uh, let's see, I got stuff I gotta drop off. Not my coal. Give me back my coal. Thank you. Drop you, drop you. Drop you, drop you. Keep you. Uh, make some sticks. Myself a couple of stone axes. Stone picks. And get ready for... I sometimes still have issues with the buttons. Okay. Could you probably use more torches, but I'm going to go off on that for the time being. Let's see here. Good. Iron pick. Boop. And then we'll use the last of our iron. going to do is I'm going to take and put the rest of the stone in there. Do that. Make a shield. Oh my god, I'm using quick move. Everybody's going to freak. Okay, and that's, that's going to be the game. Uh, that's, you know, Again, this is how I play. You know, it's not everybody's cup of tea. You know, I just do the very basic structure. Again, because I know that since I'm playing survival, any structure I build, chances are a creeper's going to blow it up. So, use something that's easily replaceable. And when I upgrade it, because I do upgrade this, I generally go with the polished diorite, because for visibility. So, that's going to be about it for this one. I hope you folks are enjoying our little romp through YouTube world. <laughs> so, with that being said, until next time, everyone, please remember, be safe, be well, stay strong, stay healthy, both physically and mentally. So there are a lot of people out there who, have, who are having issues right now. Please be good to each other. Please do the best you can for each other. And, folks, I will see you all next time. Bye, everybody.